Where's my chair? <laughs> Hello. Would you like to film a favorites video with me? I mean, I might as well. I got ready because I was going to leave, but I'm not leaving now, so... Can't let this cuteness go to waste. That picture of Emma back there looks so creepy, but I don't know what to do with it. I need to hang it. Hello. I have so many favorites that we need to talk about. I haven't filmed a favorites video in so long. Ooh, I ran upstairs. I look so cute today. Oh my god. I got some highlights. Well, I had the highlights, but she made them more like ashy, and I really like. Let's begin. Okay, where should we, should we start with the unfavorite? Let's. So, I bought the Tarte Man Eater Blush and Glow in the shade Berry. Look at this packaging. Oh my god. But I don't really like it. It's just... I felt like it was kind of dull. And like the way that it blended... It's just not that great. This is a heavy swatch. So let me get a little bit, like, blend it out. I mean, it was okay, but I have, you guys know, I have so many cream blushes, and it was just kind of underwhelming. I don't think there's anything special about it other than the packaging. So I'm returning it. It was like 25 bucks. I got it at Ulta. No, not a huge fan. L absolutely love the packaging. Love that you get this, like, Big fat doe foot. I love, absolutely love. But the product itself, like, does that look? Are you glowing with that? It's just kind of dull. Maybe a different color I would like, but this one, meh. I have no wipes. Oh, shoot. I have been liking this a Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow Skin Tint. This is very pretty. This one's in neutral medium. It's not a glowy, how can I explain it? When you first put it on, it doesn't look super duper glowy, but it kind of makes me oily. That's probably a better way to say it. Oily, glowy, you know, they're interchangeable, but the shade is so nice. Now I'm tan right now, so that does look very cool toned. It is neutral. I also have regular medium, which might be better for me right now. But it's a pretty product. And it just looks really pretty on the skin. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't break apart on me. It's good. I like it. But I feel like all of the It Cosmetics foundation foundations that are in packaging like this, they're all pretty good. But I like, I think I would say I probably like this one the best out of all of them. It's beautiful. I do think it gives a little bit more coverage than a traditional skin tint. But it's very easy to work with. It's a good product. I approve. So I picked up the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer in the shade Medium Bronze. I'm, I'm torn on this one. I love the brand Say. They're one of my absolute favorite brands. And I really do like the formula of this. I think it's the color. Settle down, sir. I think it's the color that is not my most favorite thing in the world. I wish it was a little bit more cool toned. Let me give you a better swatch. But the formula on this is so, so, so nice. Like very blendable, very easy to work with. It's not too heavy of a bronzer or a contour, however you're using it. It's a very, it's very easy to blend in. Very creamy, really nice. I wish it was a little, just a little bit more cool toned. Maybe I should have gotten light bronze, but they didn't have it, and I really wanted it, so I bought medium bronze. Um, but I like it. I've been liking it. I do think it's really nice. I'm hoping at some point maybe they'll come out with more colors, like a cool toned line, um, and I would be so down for that. I feel like I was not... I feel like I didn't describe this right. It almost sounded like I didn't like it. I love this formula. The only thing I was saying was that I just wished it maybe were a little bit cooler, 
but the formula is so 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 nice i really really like this i'm editing and i'm like uh nicole do you like this product i really do it's a little warm though but the damn formula makes me keep coming back to it she's a good one okay what's my finger doing wow still loving the glow screen from super goop this is so super what <laughs> super goop this is so pretty it's spf 40 I used this in a get ready with me. It's just such a beautiful product. I love that it gives me the glow, but it doesn't make me crazy oily, which is amazing. Now that might change with summer quickly approaching. Thank you, Jesus. But it's just so pretty. Like I'm gonna slather this all over in the summer. I'm planning on being like head to toe glow screen. I got it all dirty. My table's very dirty. Come on, Nicole, pull it together. But if you're looking for a new sunscreen and you don't mind being a little glowy, oh, she's so good. There's a reason everybody talks about this. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, I love it. What else? Oh, I have been loving this little MAC Powder Kiss Eyeshadow in the shade What Clout. This is such a nice little eyeshadow. Now, is this something that you need to like run out and buy right this second? No. I have two of those coming up though. I pretty much wear this in my crease most days. You just like throw it on. It's so simple. I'm just putting more on, why? Why not? It's the perfect mix of brown and orange. It's so pretty. I'm going to murder my dog. Not really, I'm obsessed with him, so don't worry. I won't harm him. We love a barking dog. If you take anything from this video, take these two products. Dear God, I love you so much. Okay, let's start with this. The Say Do Blush in the shade Rosy. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, it's so good. I may even venture out and say this is the best cream blush. Okay, I won't go that far, but I'll put her in top three. Top three ever cream blushes right here. The color, the formula, it is. it just blends like a dream. It like melts into your skin. The color is so, you're not getting the full effect. Hold on. Well, I'll give you a close up. The color, is, I have it on today. The color is perfection. So beautiful. It's not too like red. It's not too light. It just so easy to work with. I love her. I'm obsessed with her. I love her so much. Ew, look at my chip nail, Nicole. You're better than that. If you are a cream blush girl, go to Sephora and buy this. It's $24. It is worth every stankin' penny. Mm. Oh, the best thing that you're gonna see in this video is the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush Highlighter in the shade Tierra. Oh, Jesus. This is my favorite highlighter ever. Like, favorite cream highlighter of all time. I will say that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You guys, oh, it's so pretty. It's the color and the formula. The color is absolute perfection. It has enough of like an iciness that it's not too gold. It is so good. The formula is so like shiny and glossy and reflective, but it's not too much that it looks, you know if a cream highlighter is too like blinged out, it looks very fake sometimes. This one looks so natural, but it still gives you that super like, oh my God. It is my favorite cream highlighter ever. I can't stop wearing it. I love those bras. It's so good. It's so good. You need $20, two zero. Go buy it. Settle down. Oh, another blush that I've really been liking is the Tarte. They brought their cheek stains back. This one's in the shade Flush. Do you remember when these were out before? They were like this big, now they're this big, like Tarte. Oh my God, they're almost the same color. Tarte, what are you doing? We want the big fat chubby stick. 
Now this looks kind of terrifying, but it's like a water-based cheek stain. So when you swatch it, it's so pretty. Now this is what I wanted the other Tarte one to be. It's like a vibrant berry. And on your cheeks, it looks so like healthy and just delicious. So like, ooh, so pretty. Formula, so, so, so nice. Now, I do have one complaint. This is $30. Tart! This little thing is $30! Three zero. Like, this is 20 and this changed my life. This is 30 My life's not changed, but it's a little bit better because of it. $30? I'm just appalled at the fact that this is $30. Whoever on Tarte's team was like, look, look at this little guy. Get out the microscope. We're going to charge 30 bucks for that. And everybody else was like, oh, yeah, perfect price. What? No. This should have been 20. 20 tops. What were they before? I mean, they were double the size before. They were big, chunky boys. There's no way they were $30 before I don't buy it. So, hate the price. Love the product, though. This is not a favorite, but I'm going to talk about it. Ulta Beauty Too Cheeky. This is a cream blush. I haven't tried it yet, but let's swatch it together. It's in the shade Mood. How do we think she's going to be? Oh, that was not good for my thumb. Like, what are we thinking? I'm thinking it's not going to be good. I feel like the formula is kind of dry. I don't have high hopes for that. Yeah, no, I don't have high hopes at all. Hmm. I regret buying it. But if anybody knows if these are good, let me know. Look at this, 10.30. 10.30. What? Tart. Dang. But we're buying it. Like, I'm the dumbass that bought it, so who's winning? Not me. What else? Oh. Hold on. Okay, so you guys know that I love BK Beauty brushes. So they collabed. Get this. Her name is Angie Hot and Flashy. I love that name. So she collabed with them and did this amazing brush set. I've been using it nonstop. First off, this little kitten paw brush, which I never knew that was what you call them, but it's a kitten paw brush for like powder on my lid has taken over as my new favorite lid brush. Like, you know how I set my lid with powder? Oh, yes. This crease brush is so amazing. I've been using it every day. Like this on the lower lash line, magical. This little guy for whatever you want to use it for, inner corner to put powder on your brow bone. Ugh. And then this is the only one that I really don't use much. I would use it for like corrector for my under eyes, but I haven't used it yet. Also, I want to mention the 101 from BK, minus the hair. This has become my new favorite brush for cream contour, cream bronze, or even cream blush. You know, I normally use this hourglass one. This little 101 has taken over. It's so good. Just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh, love. I don't even have a coupon code or anything with them. I just love their brushes. They're incredible. So I told you the 101. I also love this 107. You can use this for bronzer, powder, blush, absolutely anything. It's a very versatile little brush. I also really like the 108. Ooh, why did I say really? I really like it. The 108, this is really good for under eyes, contour, anything, like a little cleanup, whatever, around the nose, highlighter. So good. Ooh, my hair looks weird. Stop. Really good. Let's just go. The 202 is my absolute favorite. I have two of these. This one I think is my little shorter guy for some reason. I don't know why it's shorter, but the best just like basic eye blending brush. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. And then the 206 is my absolute favorite brush for my under eyes, like for 
blending out eyeshadow. Ooh! Mmm! Their brushes are wonderful. You must try them. I insist. So I told you guys how much I love the Danessa Myricks, but I also cannot get enough of this Flower Beauty. They totally copied Charlotte Tilbury. Spotlight Liquid Highlighter in the shade Opal. And I said it in my, I think it was part two of my declutter that I've been doing. I actually think this might be better than the Charlotte one. The formula is shinier, I think, and it's like a thinner formula. It's just so easy to blend into your skin. It just like melts. So, so, so good. I love, love, love this. It is $12.99 at the drugstore, CVS. These are $40. $40.12. You do the math. You do it. Two lip balms that I've been hooked on. The Naturium Phyto Glow from Target. This one's in the shade Camellia. Such a beautiful shade. I'm going to put it on. This is almost off. I just had on the uh, Tower 28. This is, ow. Oh, that hurt my thumb. This is so pretty. And I also like that it has this little like cooling tip. Shut up, look how glossy it is. Ugh. So smooth and like silky soft. It's like 12 bucks, so good. And I do love me some Summer Fridays. This is the nude one. I forget what the name of it is. It doesn't say on here, does it? It just says Lip Butter Balm, but it doesn't give me a color, but it's like the nude one, obviously. Let me show you. It's really pretty. It's such a nice, just like natural color, and I like that I can wear this. If I don't have any makeup on, but I still want lip balm, obviously, some of my tinted ones are too too much color, you know what I mean? And then it's like you have no makeup on and you look like a sloth, but then you have this like colored lip. So this one's soft enough that I would just wear it all the time. Miriam does a nude color. I don't know what the name of it is, but I'm wondering if this in nude would be a good dupe for the Summer Fridays. Mm -mm. I'll have to check next time I'm at Target. I mean, I'm there like a lot. Don't judge me, Shannon Bedore. I see those judgy eyes. I really do like the Merit Lip Oil in Au Natural. I had this one earlier today, so pretty. Here, I'll give you a little swatch. It's really, really nice. This formula is very unique because it's a lip oil, but you would never know it was a lip oil if it wasn't called that. It feels nothing like a lip oil. It just feels like a really amazing tinted lip balm. It doesn't have that greasy, oily feel, you know? You know? I love Merit. They're a great brand. And I think everything is like vegan, cruelty-free. They're like a, they're a clean brand. Okay, one last thing I wanna mention. The Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon in the shade Amber Haze. Girl, I wear this every day on my waterline. It is so, oh, girl. It is so stinking gorgeous. And I don't even think it's intended to be like a liner. I think it's supposed to be like a smudgy, like eye crayon, but it lasts forever. Like once it sets, it stays on my waterline all day long. It looks so good on brown eyes. Ooh! Like it just gives you like a little pop. What am I doing? I love it. Oh, and one last thing, the NYX Brow Glue. Thought at first I didn't like it, but now I love it. Can't get enough of it. Oh, it was upside down. So sorry. Amazing, amazing product. I love her. So that's gonna do it for my little favorites video. Let me know down below what your favorites are. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, am I getting like a wrinkle over here? Oh my god. We're gonna have to get that filled. <laughs> Look. Oh, it's like a little.
thing. What is causing that? Absolute. Have I said absolutely a lot in this video? I really think that I have. What can we do to fix it? Not much at this point. Look at this nail. Are we done? Oh, great. Pick more off. Can't, I can't stop. I can't physically stop. If you take anything from this video, take these two. change and do yard work like I look too good for yard work Ugh. thank you thank you for sticking by me when I had the stupid bracelet do you guys like my highlights I love them she's adorable